Concrete corbels fail in a number of ways. In this video, we will try to put some light on the topic. Number 1. Bending failure. In this type of failure, the corbel fails due to the high magnitude of moment upon the corbel member. The member is inadequately designed and hence, cannot withstand the moment. The crack, initially develops from the top, as shown, it then travels down till the end of the corbel section. This crack gets bigger and eventually it fails in bending. Number 2. Concrete crushing from the strut portion. This failure is caused mainly due to the inadequate design of the concrete. Since the concrete cannot bear the large compressive forces, the gradual cracking of the corbel takes place from the bottom, as shown. Eventually, the entire corbel section crumbles, and the member collapses. Number 3. Failure due to shear. This failure occurs at the interface between the column and the corbel member. The cracks are usually vertical or inclined pure shear cracks. The shear forces overwhelm the member and the improper merger of the two components creates a failure zone running along the joint. Eventually, the member breaks off from the column and fails. Number 4. A breakaway due to horizontal loads. This type of failure is somewhat similar to the previous failure example. The horizontal forces and the moment thus generated create a vulnerable portion of the member from the point of the action of force. This little part of the corbel gradually develops cracks and ultimately chips off. Thus, the corbel fails. Number 5. Failure due to loss of reinforcement anchorage. The main reinforcement, provided to the corbel, must sufficiently extend till the end of the corbel section. It must also achieve adequate embedment into the column. If the main bar, falls short of the required extension length, then the cracks in the concrete will start from the point of rebar turning. The concrete block, will break away from the corbel member causing the corbel to fail under lack of reinforcement. Number 6. Concrete crushing under the bearing pad. The bearing pad is the media between the force and the corbel member. The concrete, just below their interface, experiences high compression. If the concrete has inadequate strength, this concrete portion develops fissures. These develop into local cracks that lie just below the bearing location. In time, this concrete portion crushes completely, and so, the corbel fails due to bearing pad concrete compression. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned to the Bridgehawk. Creativity is now.